I'm Jason Thompson from the Hollywood Times and it's Oscars night and I'm here up at Burbank here at the Hilton Hotel for the wonderful luxury gala event. So let's go take a look. The bold and the beautiful. My mother watches that show. Oh, fabulous. She's going to be impressed. What's mom's name? Maureen. Hi, Maureen. How are you? <laughs> Well, you're looking beautiful. Thank you for coming. Are you excited about being here tonight? Oh, I'm, I'm excited, absolutely. Well, you're looking very beautiful. Who made you, who's your designer for your dress? You know, it's it's actually a, a French designer from Gina, which is super excited to be here. Well, that's fantastic. It's always fun to go out and support our fellow actors. Well, that's great. Well, you look great, and you're, you're so fun on the the Housewives of Orange County. You, well, Charlene, I remember you from the Dallas show. Yes. How, that is amazing. How are you going? Pardon me? I said, how are you going tonight? I, I'm, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. It's so much fun to be here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, I am an actress and award-winning TV host. I won an Emmy in 2021 for my work as a host. I shot Scars, which is a great movie where I play an army doctor. And I had to learn Farsi for that, so that was very interesting. Who do you think is going to win the best film this year? Everything, everywhere, all at once. Are you excited about tonight? I'm very excited. There have been so many incredible films. Uh, I'm a fan of everyone that's nominated, and no matter what, uh, there's uh, every, there's so many winners tonight. What's your pick for the best film? Yeah, I think it's going to be every everything, everywhere, all at once. That seems to be the talk. Uh, you know, and then you got Top Gun. I mean, Spielberg personally thanked Tom Cruise for bringing the audiences back to the cinema. It could be anyone's night. He's looking as young as you. He never ages. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to know Tom's secret. I hope I can still do stunts uh, when I'm his age as well, too. He's been an inspiration. Look, it's simple. Apparently, he sold his soul to the devil. <laughs> oh, hang on. Sure. <laughs> I know he's into Scientology. Same thing, right? <laughs> well, we're here today with Renee Lawless. How are you, darling? You're I'm looking very beautiful. wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm coveting your neck decoration. I love crowns. Well, we've, we've got this going on here. Uh, yes, we do. I got this at Buckingham Palace, actually. Oh, this you? is a replica of what Queen Elizabeth wore at her uh, Jubilee. Would you know, some of my fans out there know I'm actually a Queen Elizabeth impersonator. Really? Yes, dear. Now they know. I'm loving that. I love every bit of that. That's well, I have just... been. I've been doing it for years and now I'm going to this new prince. Oh, now you're going to be the king now, yes. <laughs> and it's going to be kind of hard you know, having my whole life being with the queen and now we've got a king to deal with, you know. I know, close king, far king. <laughs> far king, yes, far king. far king. Did you just say I know, he did. I'm not saying that. No, 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 he tried, but I did it. It's close king. <laughs> it's close king. <laughs> so who's your best pick for the best film tonight? You know, um, sadly, I didn't see every single one, but I think of going with the crowd, everything all at once, everything. So, oh, sister. So, sister. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Who's a soul singer now? Yeah, that's good. Hey, King. Yes, you are. But you're a sir. Uh, yes, I am. But see, the thing is that when you look like this, you gotta be more than just a regular. Yes, indeed. You know how many times I've sang your song over the years? Oh, man, thank Celebrate you. Celebrate good what, times, come on. See, now you just sung the lyrics and the melody I wrote, and when you say, yeah, yeah. Is that good? Yes, I've had it all. Everything I touch is going to be enlightening. It's always, I always have a message in all my stories, but I would say it's, it's a little more lighthearted than my than my memoir. It's um, I would say it's more along the lines of like a comedy drama. Wow. Yeah. So you're a storyteller. I'm a storyteller, big time. Yes, and we you, all are. Of Which course we are. As well. Well, that's what's so beautiful about humans. We we love listening to stories. I'm hoping Elvis wins. I grew up in Mississippi. And when I was a little boy, a tornado hit our town when I was 10 years old. And Elvis came to town, because one of his cousins lived there in Macomb, Mississippi, and did a benefit concert at the high school to raise money for the victims of the tornado. So I have a personal connection to the uh, Elvis Presley story. I think that Austin did a fantastic job. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. And Baz Luhrmann, uh, uh, totally different uh, take on it than other Elvis films we've seen. It's not just retreading new ground. I'm hoping it's going to win. Uh, there are a lot of great contenders. There are 10 films, obviously, but uh, I think that's extra special. That's my 
Who's your choice for tonight? You have a favorite pick? I, I, it's Elvis for me because it's so spooky how how spot on he was. With the I got to meet Austin uh, recently at a, at a private screening and uh, Baz Luhrmann and I was amazed at how humble he was and how devoted he was in all the work which he put in in research. Uh, you may or may not know that uh, Baz Luhrmann set up offices for 18 months at Graceland in Memphis and uh, worked very, very hard uh, with Austin to develop the character and the storytelling. I'm crossing fingers for a couple of my buddies. Uh, I mean, there's some that I just really enjoyed. Like, obviously, Elvis was a brilliant movie. That's my favorite. And I'm a big Elvis fan, so we'll oh, see. Oh, thank you very much, baby. That's <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you yeah. <laughs> hunga, hunga, burn in love, right? <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, I, I think that it was an incredible movie, and it's one of the best biopics that I think's ever been made. So it's, I hope it it's, does well. It's spooky watching that film, because it's, oh, indeed. there's moments where you just... He channeled Elvis. And you, and you forget that it's Austin, it maybe, is Elvis. Maybe he is an eternal being, like some oh, of these Bible stories. You know, that's just, it. They reappear. That's it. <laughs> maybe they conducted a seance at the beginning and Austin got possessed by the king, right? Oh. Well, maybe it's just reincarnated. Yeah. Oh, He's oh, probably young not? enough to be able to I suppose he could zoom. be. You know, next, buddy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But even how spot on he got the voice. I know. I mean, it's funny because I know Naomi Aki who did the Whitney Houston one as well. And, and she did a, a marvelous job too, but she didn't really do the singing. Yeah. Whereas in Austin did, and he just, he killed it. He's amazing. Yeah, He's yeah. amazing. Well, let's hope he wins tonight. I, I do. Um, well, that's my pick. I, I the beautiful. Yeah, and I just love you. You look really great. I just love you, you too, a fellow redhead, a fellow ginge. Oh, a fellow ginger. Are you a ginger underneath that? I am a ginger. Oh, well, you are really super ginger with the red. Super ginger. And, and what's your best pick for tonight with the best film? Uh, everything All at Once. That's what I'm thinking. There's a lot of hype on it. There what is do, a lot what of are hype. you thinking? I'm going with the Elvis movie. I think Elvis is. Oh, is I'm going for. Uh, He'll be the lead. He will be the best actor. I, I think, think so. But I, I think, think it could be best best film too. I don't know. Well, I hope so. I do. He did quite a, a fantastic job. Yeah. And he's quite beautiful to look at, actually. It is beautiful to look at, isn't and it? And I love the uh, Baz Luhrmann. He really knows how to do the beautifully uh, choreographed musicals. You know, he's bringing back, <clears throat> excuse me, the Hollywood yes. glam and musical theater. I, I love that. Well, just like you, you're like Hollywood glam tonight. Well, thank you for talking to me, and, and I hope to have a great night. Are you going to have fun in there tonight? I am, and we're actually going to the Oscars tonight, so will we see you over there? Oh wow, look at you! She's on the on the move. My date for tonight to the Oscars. Oh, what are you single? Single and ready to mingle. Let's go. Single and ready to mingle. <laughs>
story and all the amazing characters brought to life over the years.